Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this review we're going to talk about gravidity and parity. And as always, whenever you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will test you over this content. So let's get started. What is gravidity and parity? Well, these are terms that we use in maternity nursing to help us assess a patient's health history, specifically their OB history. Now there's two systems we can use to help us do that. One of the systems is a five digit system known as the GTPAL. And I have a review on that if you wanna check that out. And this system that we're talking about in this review is the two digit system. Hence, we're just talking about gravidity and parity. So for exams, what you wanna know about this is you wanna be able to differentiate between their definitions, know what each of these mean. Also, be familiar with the terms that fall under each and be able to calculate the gravidity and the parity based on a scenario that you're given. Like a lot of times the scenarios will be a health history of a woman's OB history and you'll have to be able to calculate the gravida and the para, which we're gonna do in this video. So first, gravidity. This is the number of times a woman has been pregnant. So whenever you are calculating the gravidity, you want to take some things into account. Number one, the outcome of that pregnancy isn't really relevant. It doesn't matter if the baby survived or she lost the baby. We, for this, we care about how many times she has been pregnant. And this is actually going to include her current pregnancy. So if you're interviewing her and she's currently pregnant, that is going to count in this. And what do you do about if she is having twins? That would just count as one. Multiple babies counts as one whenever you're calculating the gravidity. We're not calculating the number of babies she's having. It's just one pregnancy. Then parity is the number of births or completed pregnancies that woman has had at 20 weeks gestation or greater. So what we're talking about is the woman has completed the pregnancy, meaning she's delivered the baby, it has left her body. And we're talking about at 20 weeks or greater. So keep those two parts of this definition in mind so you don't get confused between these two. And some things what you wanna keep in mind is that this includes babies who are born alive or stillborn, they didn't make it in this calculation. And how would we calculate multiple babies? So let's say she had twins at 37 weeks. She delivered that, pregnancy is completed. Well, we would count that as one. We're not cal calculating it based on how many babies she delivered. So keep that in mind because scenarios will throw out twins or triplets to you and you wanna be able to calculate those terms correctly. Now let's look at the terms that are used to describe gravidity and parity. So another way of saying gravidity is gravida and another way of saying parity is para. So as you can see with these terms, they look similar. They share the same prefix, but their suffix is different. So if you can understand what that prefix is and apply it to the definition of the suffix, it'll be really easy solving these terms. So first let's review the prefixes. Noli means none or never. Primi means first and multa means many, like multiple. So if we take those prefixes, apply it to these words, this is what we get. So whenever we're talking about gravida, we can describe a woman as nulli gravida. What did gravida mean? It means the number of times a woman has been pregnant. So nulli means none, never. So this woman has never been pregnant. Primate gravida means that the woman has been pregnant once or she is currently pregnant with her first pregnancy. Multigravida means that the woman has been pregnant at least two or more times. So she's been pregnant more than once. Then we go to para. We have nulli para. What did para mean again? It's the number of times a woman has completed or gave birth to a baby at 20 weeks gestation or more. So noli para would mean that she has never given birth or completed a pregnancy at 20 weeks or greater. 
primipara would mean that the woman has completed one pregnancy at 20 weeks or greater. And then multipara would mean that she has completed at least two or more pregnancies at 20 weeks or greater. So, so she's completed more than one. Now let's apply what we have learned to some scenarios. So we're collecting health history on some patients. And this patient tells us that she has been pregnant three times. She's not currently pregnant. And out of those three pregnancies, only one did she have where she gave birth, completed the pregnancy at 39 weeks. The other two, it was less than 20 weeks gestation when those pregnancies completed. So let's calculate her gravidity and parity. So gravida, what would that be? That's the number of times that she has been pregnant. She's not currently pregnant, but she has been pregnant three times. So her gravida would be three. Okay, what would her para be? This is the number of times that she has completed, gave birth to a baby at 20 weeks gestation or more. She tells us only one. It was at 39 weeks. The other two, it was less than 20. So her para would be one. Now let's look at this scenario. The patient, she is currently pregnant with twins at 30 weeks, and this is her first pregnancy. So gravida, how many times has she been pregnant? Just once, but she's pregnant with twins. Re remember that doesn't matter. We're not calculating the number of babies. We're just calculating this pregnancy. So her gravida would be one. Now, what would her para be? Well, she hasn't completed the pregnancy yet. So her para would be zero. Now let's switch it up a little bit and let's say that she has completed this pregnancy and the twins were born at 37 weeks. That would change the parity. It would change it to one because she has completed the pregnancy and you wouldn't put two because remember we're not calculating the number of babies born. We're just calculating the number of pregnancies that were completed. Okay, so that wraps up this review over gravidity and parity. And don't forget to access the free quiz that will test you on this content and to check out the other reviews in this maternity series.